going on guys? YouTube, what's going on? Uh, Intimidation here, um, and I'm out in uh, foothills of California, and uh, it's March, early March, and uh, we're going to be looking for some ants today. We're going to be looking for, well, really we're going to be looking for new queens digging their, their new chambers. And today I'm just going to cover again uh, what to look for and how to identify queens digging their chambers. And uh, yeah, we're going to be looking around and uh, I come to this kind of sandy embankment just to kind of look around. And uh, why I come to these areas is because it's just all dirt. So it's easy to see if new dirt has been moved um, in a specific fashion. Now, if we look right here, we see a hole, right? And we see this fan-shaped pattern of dirt removal. That's exactly what you need to look for if you're looking for, particularly if you're looking for species that are digging in the soil. This works the same for species that dig in the wood. You just have to locate the hole and then you have to locate the, the sawdust removal. But usually what this is, um, and I'll tell you guys, I'll give you guys a little tip. Usually queens that dig into wood, if you're looking for those types of species, make a, an oval shaped hole. It'll never be perfectly circular. If you find a perfectly circular hole in wood and you find sawdust, you go, oh my gosh, you know, that's a queen. That must be a queen because Intimidation told me that, you know, they, they dig and if I see sawdust like that, usually if it's a perfectly circular hole, it means it's kind of like a carpenter bee or something along those lines or like maybe even uh, the beetle. There's a there's a beetle species that makes perfectly circular circular holes. So you shouldn't... Uh, that that's that's something also to keep in mind when you're looking for species like that. But this is definitely queen sign. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm once again I'm gonna I'm gonna dig this up and show you what I find. Um, just so you guys know that you know this is a tried and true method that I do every every spring and I find queens this way all the time. So uh, I'll get back to you in a second on that. Sometimes you gotta sift through the sand pretty pretty good just to get oh here we go. There we go. Wait, where'd she go? There she is. And uh I don't know if you guys can see that. That is a Marmacocystis queen, everybody. And uh that's a that's a um nocturnal species, that's testaceous. So Marmacocystis taste uh testaceous. And she'll have yellow workers. That's a Marcusistus queen right there. So there you have it. Um, that was a successful dig. I'm probably about, in terms of success rate when I dig up these holes, probably around 70%, I'd say. 70% so of the time I get I get a queen out of what I dig. So there it is. Hope you guys can see that. I don't know if I'm in the right camera view, but there you go. All right. There you have it. Marmacocystis uh, testaceus. Very common uh, honeypot ant up here. Um, more common than the than Marmacocystis mimicus, which is the diurnal species. But uh, I'm still on a mission to find the diurnal species, uh, as I just showed you, digging up claustral chambers and finding queens. So I have yet to find that species. But I have seen adult nests, uh, mature nests rather, so, all right, moving on, we're going to see if we can find, find something else, guys, all right, peace. Hey, what's up, guys, um, just walking through the trail here, just thought I'd show you what I'm hiking through, guys, a lot of people have expressed that they like my hiking videos, so, that's what I'm doing, I'm filming my hiking, so, we come up on this sandy pathway, and again, you got to look for these open spaces if you want to, which makes it easier for you to identify if, if something's been digging or not, because as opposed to the grass, 
it's a little more difficult. It's you know there's more things that can hide in grass, so you might not actually see it. It takes you forever to fold over grass blades and grass blades. So you look for open spaces like this, and you check around the edges, and you look for fresh moved soil, and uh, you look for that classic fan-shaped pattern of dirt removal. And uh, we're going to be looking for that right now, so let's take a look. Alright, well, I've made my way up the trail some more, and I haven't seen any uh, queen sign uh, since that first one I showed you. But uh, we're going to keep going up the hill here and see what we find at the end, um, at, the, at the peak. Usually when I get up further, it uh, you find that different species of ants are mating at different times. So, I mean, there could be nothing today, but tomorrow there could be hundreds of queens. Um, flying and uh, digging their holes so but we're gonna give it a shot we're gonna go up here take another look around and uh, I, I'm sure we'll find uh, another another example of a queen burrow for you to for you guys to look at and I can dig that up for you and see if we're successful with the dig but uh, all right moving on pilgrim on your mix Fairly mature colony. You can tell by the size of the workers. The workers are pretty large. And they're busy doing their spring repairing and uh, damage repair from the rain. So they're going to be moving a lot of soil and cutting down uh, grasses that are growing outside. Stuff like that. So. Thought it was worthwhile showing you this nest, but we're going to move on and look for more queen sign. Okay, I don't know if you guys can make this out, but this is a whole cloud of male Pernelopus in Paris. All these little flecks, they're all male ants, with probably the occasional queen mixed in because Pernelopis in Paris has a very um, contrast between male and female when they mate. They, it's like for every 300 males, there's one queen, so it's pretty, pretty vast difference. And there's just a cloud. That, I mean, they flow with the wind. I mean, there's just they're all in this pine tree here, all over. So Pernelopis is definitely mating. So there you go. And they're they're all over me. Males are landing all over my fingers and hands and stuff. There's a male right there. Oh, he's gone. Hey, we're back. And I found another queen sign right here in the middle of a rocky trail. Unfortunately, I I shouldn't try to do this, dig this up. If we pan back a little bit, this is all rock. This is sand rock. I don't have the right equipment to just go digging into this stuff, so I'm likely to kill the queen. So, but this is definitely, here's the, see how this color of dirt is dark? It's, probably, it's almost black. And this is, this is white with some, some, uh, some oxida, ah, uh, some, uh, iron in it. Sorry, jeez. I'm having trouble speaking. Um, so what that means is she dug deep enough to get to this layer of dirt. So if you're ever digging, try to try to co coincide the color of the dirt with the layer that you reach. So you know if you if you're digging and you're getting white sand with this, she you're not deep enough yet. You have to get to the layer that has the dark the dark uh, dirt in order to get to the right depth. So that reflects how deep she's gone. If, if in fact there are layers um, in the area, there, sometimes there's not. Sometimes the dirt is just one color, but just, just a helpful hint. But uh, I'm not going to try to dig this up, but I just wanted to show you guys. That's another classic. There's the hole right there, and then there's the dirt removal. So definitely another queen sign. All right, moving on. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. Um, looks like it just kind of started. It's not very deep. Um, hopefully... This doesn't mean that she's been um, preyed upon by other foraging species of ants. There's a lot of uh, Formicomoki around here just hunting, so 
She could have gotten taken out by one of those in the midst of digging her chamber, but uh, I'm going to dig this up and see if uh, see if there's a queen down there. Um, it's not very deep, like I said. There's not much dirt removal there. So let's dig it up, see what we get. Alright, well this is interesting guys. This is why the queen decided to dig somewhere else. If you can see this, these are all fire ants. I dug right into a fire ant nest. Um, this is uh, Solenopsis zelani, which is a local, uh, local <laughs> native fire ant to the United States. This is not Invicta. Invicta is the imported fire ant. But this is, they're about, they're the same size, similar colors. But these have a clear black abdomen, or gaster, and their head and their thorax are red to orange. So that's how you can kind of tell between the two. Um, Solenopsis invicta, the imported fire ant, is usually a ruby red, or all brownish, or in, in, anywhere in between those two colors. But these are all these are all fire ants. So that's what happened to that queen. That queen is decided not to dig there because of that. So I'm gonna leave those guys alone. I kind of feel bad, <laughs> actually, that I dug into that nest. So, but we're just let, that's that's a very mature colony too. But we're just gonna move on to the next uh, queen sign, see what we can find. I guess. Okay, we found another one, and this hole is pretty medium sized, and I'm willing to bet that this is a Marmacocystis claustral chamber just being dug. And you guys can't see this on the camera; it's a little dark, but. I can, with my naked eye, see down through the hole, and I can see her gaster right at the start of the tunnel, almost. So this will probably be an easy dig. Let's see if uh, we can't do that. Just Breaking open the rock. There she is. Marmacocystis. Look at that. If you guys, I don't know if it's auto focusing on that, but probably not. Oh, it's crushed her. Successful dig number two, and there you go, Marmacocystis testaceous queen. And uh, we're gonna move on and see if we can find some others. All right. Okay, so successful hike, uh, and I'm just r showing you the result of of that hike. Uh, I couldn't put all the footage that I took onto the camera. I ran out of battery power, but I came home and uh, I'll show you what I got. I, I think I showed you digging up at least three queens, but I got an additional four. Um, and I've got I've got six Armacocystis testaceous queens, and I've got one uh, Pernelopus imperis queen, which is that one in, on the far, uh, the back there. So th that's what I got, and uh, yeah, successful hike. All right, guys.